Welcome you in to the Proceed Halftime Report. Alex Egan, Beth Poole uh, alongside here. Bison leading 28-3 to over Cal Poly. Kind of a ho-hum first half with some power outages. Ho-hum? What are you talking uh, about? This was thrilling. We run. had a power outage. We had Josh Dumel. <laughs> and we've got the Bison dominating, which what more could you want to see? That's exactly what you want to see from this football team. They came out. They came out strong. They came out ready to play. And that Bison defense, there was no adjustment period needed for that option. Let's take a look at the first half uh, highlights that we have for you here. The uh, Bison coming out strong. Yeah, Lance Dunn getting in the first touchdown of the season for the Bison. A 35-yard one here. And how about Tanner Volson pushing him through? Yeah, Lance Dunn is uh, having shades of Robert Morris here with a touch and a touchdown. That's how uh, Lance Morris is coming out in the 2018 season. Lance, Lance Morris. Lance Dunn. Lance Dunn. There we go. Dunn. Cal Poly held to a field goal, and it's back in Easton Stick Dunn. hands. He hands it over to Lance Dunn. And Dunn, again, is able to just plow his way past this Cal Poly line. They have yeah, the really young on that defensive line, and it's showing through here Yeah, early. that was nine plays, 77 yards for the Bison up 14-3 defense back-to-back -back three and outs six 24-yard run here we talked in the pregame show about the Bison wanting Easton to take what the defense gives him that's composure right there by Easton and uh, just like you draw it up right you start off one way you come back to the near side you get a big gainer inside the uh, the red zone and that sets up Bruce Anderson for his first touchdown of the season Bruce able to bounce this one outside his speed is just too much for this Cal Poly defense to uh, catch up to yeah, 10-yard touchdown there for Anderson, up 21-3 for the Bison here. We continue in the second quarter. Another one from Lance Dunn here, 12 yards. Again, Lance Dunn, he's got six carries on the day, and uh, three of them have gone for touchdowns. That's really efficient from Lance Dunn. I, I like that one, too, right up the middle. I think you're starting to see Cal Poly realize exactly what the Bison have to offer. 28 to 3. Let's take a look at today's halftime stats brought to you by the North Dakota Certified Seed Producers. Our score... 28 to 3. The Bison dominating in pretty much every facet. Total yards, they're dominating in the passing yards, a little shy, although Cal Poly has that one big passing play that really got them up there. But the rushing yards there. For an option team to only have 73 rushing yards at half and being down chasing points, not great for I Cal Poly. I believe we call that abysmal. But how about NDSU? 228, 99 of those belong to Bruce Anderson today. Talk about a workhorse. We want to talk about pro throw all we want, but Bruce Anderson continues to be a driving force for this Bison offense, a leader, and he doesn't always get the glory. I mean, the 99 no. yards, he's fighting through. He's one of those tough runners. He's an uphill runner through the trenches, and he's fighting his way in. Nice to see him get a touchdown today. Once again, your halftime stats brought to you by the North Dakota Certified Seed Producers. Stay with us here on the Pro Seed Halftime Report. We'll take a look at some scores around the Missouri Valley. Plenty of action happening already and some scores going on today. That's still to come here on the Pro Seed Halftime Report. It's time for the Pro Seed Halftime Report. If you need seed, think Pro Seed. Join us today. He's the chairman of the Big Iron Show. Also a district sales manager with Proceed, Dave Gertz. Dave, great to have you hey, in studio, you. my friend. Thank you, uh, Let's talk about what you guys are doing with soybeans this year. Soybeans, we've got a whole basket of traits that are available this year. It's so fun to be in this industry and working for a company that can offer all of these traits to the producer, uh, whether it be the Liberty trait uh, or whether it be the, uh, the Liberty uh, plus the GT trait, uh, the Roundup trait, the, the uh, Extend trait, and uh, hopefully the, we see a, a label for the enlist trait, which is also, and we've got supplies and inventory available for the producers to control any wheat problem that you do have out there. So you've got a variety of soybeans that they can take a look at, but also, as you and I both know, we don't plant just beans around here. So what are some other yeah. seeds they can get from? We are a full-service company, which is so fun to be part of because of the fact that we have uh, uh, corn, we have uh, canola, uh, we have sunflowers. Uh, we offer contracts for sunflowers for our dehulling plant. Uh, it's just a really exciting time in the seed industry to be a, be a part of it. And one of the things I think a lot of people appreciate about ProSeed is the right choice program you put together every year. What do you have going on this year? We have a product. We have a real exciting program. Uh, we'll, you'll see more as, as we progress forward. Give us a shot is, is kind of the theme of that program this year. And so definitely check out their website, talk to their dealers, go to Proceed.net. Uh, it is a great, great right choice program this year. And stay with us much more coming up right here on the Proceed Halftime Report. Welcome back into the Proceed Halftime Report. The Bison leading Cal Poly at halftime. Let's take a look at some of the scores around the Missouri Valley as non-conference action is underway. We'll take a peek at this first one here, and that is a surprise. 
Butler came back and beat Youngstown, I, outscoring the Penguins 16 to nothing in the fourth quarter. I, I, I know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I know. <laughs> well, uh, so not I, a great start for Bo Pelini and the Penguins there as they fall to Butler. The Bison will see Butler next year at Target Field. So uh, maybe it'll be a strong Butler Bulldogs Mark the team. moment. That's yeah. a little speechless. That, well, who? Oh. <laughs> Looking Everybody forward to this one tonight, <laughs> Sal. Let's move on to something I can talk about. Looking forward to this one tonight, South Dakota at Kansas State. Obviously, Bison fans will remember all the memories were floating around social media here lately. Uh, K-State, uh, a school that NDSU went down and took care of a few years ago uh, in a thrilling drive. game Brock with Jensen, the, drive. the drive. Absolutely. Yeah. Can South Dakota do it? I don't, I don't know. That game will kick at 6 p.m. Central Time. More scores from the Valley. St. Xavier out of Illinois is playing Illinois State in normal Illinois. That game will kick at 6.30. South Dakota State and Iowa State. Another, another team bison. bison memory. Yes. Yeah, how about it? Uh, a, a thrilling one there. That was Easton Stick was a little old freshman. His mom sharing some <laughs> pictures today on social media uh, reminiscing about that big one. I, I think the Jackrabbits have a chance. Yeah, they might. You know, Terry and Christian without... Uh, uh, Winnicky and Goddard. I so think you'll knows? really see exactly what to expect from this SDSU team this year, seeing how they can play against Iowa State. And Christian coming off that 10 turnover game against James Madison in the semifinals. That was a long time I'm ago. I'm never going to let that them forget that. That was a long time ago. Uh, big game that we are all very interested in. It comes to your way tonight at 8 o'clock Central Time, and that is Northern Iowa at Montana. That's going to be a big one. Bison fans remember just how tough it is to play at Montana when NDSU was there a couple of years ago. Of course, smoky conditions, all of that, a last-minute win for Montana, but that's a tough place to play, and I think Montana is better this year than they've been in a while. That's part of the Big Sky Missouri Valley Challenge that the Bison are in right now, and props to these two teams for scheduling uh, a really tough game to start. Props to that. You don't see it too often, uh, but the props to them for uh, putting this one on the schedule. Games from Thursday, Indiana State will not go winless this year. They pick up a win, 49 hey. to nothing over Quincy. Good luck finding out where Quincy is from. Congratulations, Grant Olson. Yeah, congratulations to uh, the former Bison coach. Southern Illinois picks up a big win over Murray State, 49 to 10. Again, this was on Thursday. Oklahoma State downs Missouri State, uh, big 58 to 17 FBS win there and uh, a game that a lot of people had their eyes on as well montana state outlast western illinois 26 23 that game was a uh, pretty thrilling yeah, one four to field goals uh, for yeah. for montana state they win it on the field goal hey congratulations to the kicker yeah right? How about it? they don't get enough publicity our game is 21 to 3 at halftime the bison lead will step will step aside that's what i said 28 oh. to 3. Oh. i'm sorry see and i'm already picking on you She's going to take a break while she listens, and then I'm going to, uh, we'll come back with our final thoughts. That sounded really bad. Uh, more proceed <laughs> halftime report after this.